hey, it's Kaylin with Elvin Mill Farm. Um, finally doing my first video. Not gonna lie, not real excited about doing it. Um, it is what it is. I guess I'll figure it out as I go. Kind of worried I'm gonna end up cussing because I cuss like a sailor, but I'm gonna do my best not to do that. Uh, and as far as making things and getting them the way they're supposed to be, I always wing it. And so you guys are gonna get to watch me screw it up, fix it, whatever it takes. So let's get started making some Fruity Pebble soap. Okay, that little intro y'all just watched, um, I was supposed to kind of do that a few times, get a good one, make it nice and smooth and all that kind of stuff. But the first time I did it, I screwed up, dropped the F-bomb. The second time it came out pretty much okay. So I decided I was just gonna roll with the second one and not risk more F-bombs. Um, so let's get started making the actual soap. <clears throat> um, today I'm gonna make a hemp seed oil melt and pour soap. Um, I did not order this. My husband ordered it for me for Christmas. I'm assuming it came from Amazon because he orders basically everything from Amazon. Um, I'm going to scent it with this Fruity Pebbles scent. Um, the words are a little blurry because I use this for everything. Um, I put it in my Scentsy warmers. I've added it to my own shampoo, my hand soap, a little bit of everything. It really genuinely does smell like you just opened a box of Fruity Pebbles. Um, when you buy scented oils for soap, make sure it's skin safe. Um, you can see this one does say it's skin safe. Um, I decided the Fruity Pebbles because I bought these at the Steel City Comic Con. And the guy who was selling them, he sells them in these little teeny tiny gummy bear shapes. And they're fabulous. And what you were supposed to do is take one out wash your hands with it and then you're good to go. However, I like to actually smell like the Fruity Pebbles and trying to wash my entire body with these itty bitty soaps wasn't working. So what I'm hoping to do is melt the soap, scent it, and then embed these little tiny gummy bears in it so that every time I'm bathing, I have a big bar of soap to wash with, but it's gonna have these cute little gummy bears in it. I have no idea if it's gonna work. I've never even made melt and pour soap before, let alone tried to stick other soap into it, but we'll figure it out. So, I wrote down my instructions because I don't have my phone to look them up as I go. So I'm gonna be looking at this. Um, first thing you're supposed to do is take the melt and pour soap and cube it up into one inch cubes. Now, last night I did the other one pound block of this because I'm doing two pounds. Um, as you can see, I already did some. And the reason I did that is the first time I was cutting the soap, I did not want to be on camera in case I took a finger off because it would really suck for my first YouTube video to have me losing a finger. So I wanted to make sure that it went pretty smoothly and that the knife went through pretty easy and I wasn't like doing any weird chopping that was gonna endanger myself. Okay, so first things, you can see it goes through pretty smooth. Just kind of wiggle it down. If you're a klutz like me, Please watch your fingers. Doesn't take too awful long. <clears throat> I'm just throwing them in the bowl. Um, this is going to go in the microwave. I don't actually know how long it's going to take because like I said, I've never done this. I'm hoping it's not gonna take a whole bunch of time because that would really be awful to have to edit out a whole bunch of minutes of me literally just microwaving and stirring a whole bunch of times. Um, you can also do this in a double boiler. I have both, but I want to try the microwave first. Okay, so there's my cubes. Those are a little bigger than one inch, but we're just going to go with it. It says to do it for 30 seconds at a time and stir it after each 30 seconds. That way it melts smoother and you don't have lumps or anything. There's a good chance I'm gonna have to edit out a whole bunch of 30 seconds, which I'll figure that out too, I guess. Okay. So the first 30 seconds really didn't do much. Um, they all still look pretty much the same. They're just a little shinier. So we'll put the second 30 seconds in.
seriously, if there's a whole lot of 30 seconds, I'll just wipe all these out because nobody wants to stand around and watch a microwave go for 30 seconds at a time. Still not really getting anywhere. I mean, there's a little bit of moisture at the bottom. Maybe I should have cut my cubes a little smaller, like it said. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess this is going to take mm, a good three to four minutes of 30 second intervals. Um, so I'm probably going to stop my video right here get it melted and then I'll show you a picture of what it looks like and I'll tell you how long it actually took. Okay, so I'm glad I stopped. Um, it did take right at five minutes to get it all melted. Um, I really would have hated to be trying to speak for five minutes, um, but it's now melted and I stirred it really good to make sure there were no missing little clear clumps anywhere. Um, the next thing in the instructions, it says to let it cool to 125 degrees. Um, I don't know what we're at yet. Um, the reason it says to let it cool before you add your fragrances and stuff is it says that sometimes if it's too hot, you can ruin your herbs, your oils, or anything you're putting in. Um, we're at about 140, so I'm going to stir it to try to cool it down. Um, I did two one-pound blocks of the hemp. Um, so that requires a tablespoon per each pound of the fragrance oil. If you're using essential oils, the measurements are different. Um, but for the fragrance oil, it said to use one tablespoon per pound. So I'm going to be using two tablespoons. And we are still at 130. Try to stir some of this mess off the walls. Um, this does not have a really good smell just like this, so I'm pretty glad that the Fruity Pebbles smells really good to make this smell a little better. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to take and do two tablespoons of this, and I'm probably going to get it everywhere because, like I said, every time I use this, I get it all over everything. I did not this time. Okay, so I'm gonna stir that in real good. And that is really strong and definitely smells better than the plain soap did on its own. Um, it looks like it kind of caused a little bit of a film when it went in. So I'm gonna say make sure you stir it really, really good. Um, the instructions said when you're microwaving to, that the best thing to use was a Pyrex bowl. Luckily, I collect Pyrex, so I had quite a few bowls to choose from. Um, I'm going to say that's stirred good enough. We'll figure it out. Okay, so here's my mold, and it's a silicone mold. Um, I'm assuming he also got this off Amazon. Um, has a nice little wooden box to keep it in there so it holds its shape when you put it in. Um, it didn't say anything about it needing to be in a certain temperature before it went in the mold. So I'm just going to dump it now and hope that doesn't matter. Okay, and then the instructions said to kind of tap the box to get the air bubbles out. Um, it also said that you could spray the air bubbles that come to the top with alcohol. Uh, I don't have alcohol, nor do I have an empty spray bottle right now. I just had to buy one for my water, but mm, that's doing a relatively okay job. Um, I don't know if these are going to melt when I stick them in, and I don't know if they're going to sink. Um, my assumption is that they'll stay where I put them, but that could be a really wrong assumption, and they could also just dissolve into nothingness. So I'm kind of hoping to let this cool just a little bit more before I start sticking those guys in. Okay. 
I'm feeling like the way this feels, that my gummy bears are actually all gonna sink to the bottom, which I guess means I'll just have gummy bears on top of my bars of soap. I really did love these little guys. It's just, you can't take a bath with a bar of soap the size of a gummy bear. All right, I'm gonna stick my first one in. That one did sink to the bottom. That one's floating. Okay. So some of them are floating, some of them are sinking. So I'm just gonna spread them out in here. And then I'll push some that aren't sinking in. I have Q-tips or toothpicks sitting there. That way I can kind of get them suspended all throughout the soap. It seems to be cooling really quick. There's a film definitely starting on it now. So I may need to hurry up with my gummy bears. All right, that's all the gummy bears. I'm gonna grab a toothpick and cram some of these guys down. Um, they don't seem to be melting. They are some of them sticking together. So it's probably not gonna be the prettiest bar of soap. But it'll be interesting looking. Okay, so I don't know if I can get this over here so you can see, but I'm gonna try. Um, you can kind of see that they're a little all over the place in there. Um, the only thing left to do now is to let it cool. So I'm going to clean everything up, set this on the counter, and after it's cooled probably tomorrow, I'm going to have to take it out and cut it, and I guess I'll make a video then to show you what it looks like after it's been cut. Bye!